Hi there, welcome to another edition of Test Drive Diecast. Tonight I'm going to be reviewing for you a BMW E46 328 Saloon. Uh, this is by a company called UT Models, um, who went out of business sometime round about the turn of the millennium, and it's in a scale of 1 to 18. So we'll have a quick look around the model um, and um, have a look inside and in the engine bay. Uh, so first of all, as always, we'll start at the front. This particular model was right at the end of UT Models production and the quality and detail of the models um, as compared to the ones that they used to do uh, around about the mid-1990s, I think that's where they started. Um, th this, this one is, is far superior. Um, you'll see what I mean by uh, the time I get to the interior, but far more separate parts used, far more detailed, um, more realistic trim colours in the interior. The earlier ones, I've got a BMW E36, very nice model, but it's a lot more basic um, in, in every detail. This particular one is is, in, is a kind of um, forerunner, it's sort of a forerunner, it foresaw um, the, 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 sort of the dawn of the Mini Champs and Auto Art era. Um, a few years after UT sadly went out of production. Um, it's certainly 100% comparable um, in detail with them um, and quality, uh, no doubt about it at all. So we'll start at the front as I said, um, so we've got separate lenses for the lights uh, inside, kidney grills which are proper grills. This is crying out for a set of 118 scale number plates which is next to my list to buy for it. Round to the side. Excellent paint finish on that. Wheels nicely modelled. Uh, the only thing sometimes GT models are prone to, uh, as are some others, is some discoloration uh, or maybe melting of the wheel rim where it touches the rubber. This one's just got a bit of discoloration, but it's okay. Separate rubbing strips, separate door handles. Nice chrome trim around the windows. We'll have a look at the back. And great detail there, can't fault it at all. The other thing, the reversing lights are, are slightly Slightly, slightly bright, but they look like they're painted on there, but they're actually not. It is actually a proper, proper sort of lens there. A diffuser there, a tailpipe. In absence of a heated rear window, which is a bit of a shame. That's all right though. And inside the boot, a basic kind of trim. This piece of plastic, but it's all there. All looks grand. Round to the front of the model again. It has steering, of course. And we'll have a look at the engine. Try and get this bonnet open without it rolling back. There we go. Quite basic detail there. Separate header tank, but that's about it. It's quite basic. The E36 that I've got, the M3, uh, the engine level of engine detail is, is far superior. I don't know why this one was so basic. And we'll have a look at the interior. And this is really what makes it out as a what I think is a quality model. Lovely tan leather interior there, everything wood, wood grain. My friend used to have an E46 a long time ago and uh, it was a coupe one uh, but I remember the dashboard well and this one is an excellent recreation of that. It's got the early steering wheel that came out in the first of the E46s. E46 uh, was produced in 1998 to 2005. Um, this must have been a very, very early 
model of one because uh, UT models went out of business well, less probably less than a year after the E46 was produced and I'm almost certain this was, would have been their last last model car before they went, they went out of business wood cappings in the doors in the back, leather effect seats and it's got carpet there as well, it's not plastic on the floor, that's carpet Very, very nice indeed. And have a look underneath. Though I think it gives the age of the model away. Early mini champs are the same. Doors, front doors are on these kind of rods. Underneath. Very nicely modelled exhaust system there. All separate. Really can't fault it. Very nice paint job as well. This model also has a box. Uh, it's got the standard UT models window box. Uh, but this particular car was also available through BMW dealers and it came in a kind of all a windowless cardboard box with polystyrene interior um, and various images of the car on the outside say the new BMW 328 saloon. You can also get a 318 version as well. Um, so there was other 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 engines would probably have been modelled up at the front there. Uh, <clears throat> I got this I partic got this particular one in a trade. Um, if you're looking to buy one of these um, actually no I didn't. I bought this one from a friend. I bought it from a friend. Um, I got it at a very good price. Um, if you're looking to buy one of these, you're looking to pay, I would say, roughly about £80 for one that's in this condition. So UT models are no longer in business. Uh, as far as I'm aware, the only other company that produce a BMW like this um, are Welly, and that model's not really up to scratch at all. Uh, I've also got a touring car version of the facelifted E46. Again, it's not. It's not obviously not the road. The road going car. Um, so yeah, you're looking to pay about eighty pounds. I was lucky enough not to have to pay anywhere near that. So very thankful for that. Um, it, this is an extremely nice model. Um, I would say it's well worth the money. Um, it, it's a, such a shame that UT models have gone out of business uh, because they were really starting to, really starting to go somewhere with the quality of their models. Um, so um, yep, if you're looking to I would say roughly about roughly about eighty pounds. Um, any other questions? Um, just give me a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye now.